So uh, welcome to Vespa TV. Um, Duncan here. V really pleased to be joined today by Kasia from ID TechX. Uh, he's a, a, an analyst with that organisation which provides uh, business intelligence and, and consultations specifically to do with printed electronics. So Kasia, welcome to Vespa TV. Um, tell us a, a little bit uh, first up, what, what is printed electronics just in, in a nutshell? So printed electronics is, a, is an umbrella term. It, it is a term that uh, brings together a range of different technologies, but the underlying idea behind it is that you use the mature and traditional printing techniques uh, out there to produce functional layers. Uh, the idea is not to compete in terms of performance uh, with uh, the well-established silicon-based electronics, but the idea is to produce large areas or sheets of functional materials at a low cost and in high throughput and high volumes. What, uh, so what are the main applications for, for this, uh, this technology? It brings together a range of different technologies from uh, display and lighting, so OLED display and lighting, photovoltaics, uh, organic photovoltaics, and there is a whole toolkit of components that can be printed ranging from batteries, transistors, uh, inductors, memory and so on and so forth. Where are you seeing the, the most growth at the moment in printed electronics? Which, which of those is the, the, the hot one at the moment? Well, well, so, so the biggest market driver right now is actually a very simple item. It is, it is conductive inks which are printed in huge volumes, uh, hundreds of tons per year, and they go to a range of diff different applications from uh, photovoltaics uh, to cars. Uh, but some of the most promising applications, uh, in, uh, and they're a little bit more complex, are to do with organic uh, LEDs or OLEDs and organic photovoltaics or PVs. If I was a printer, where's, uh, where should, what should I be doing? How should I be trying to enter this, this marketplace? Uh, I think the answer is that some of the applications out there are too complex. Uh, they need deep pockets to finance research and development. Uh, but, but the real message to printers is uh, to try and move up the value chain. Don't do something very simple because uh, you cannot expect people to bang on your door and place orders. But you have to uh, move up the value chain and develop a product and print it and then sell it. Let's focus on photovoltaics uh, at the moment, seeing as we're out here in the sunshine. What's, what's the biggest challenges in, in that sector at the moment? So organic photovoltaics are a small sub-segment of a much broader and bigger market of photovoltaics. And they're one of uh, several technologies which can be used to produce electricity from light. Uh, the big challenges with organic photovoltaics are that it is expensive, uh, the efficiencies are low, and that the lifetime of the product is low unless you encapsulate it using a very expensive and, uh, and high-tech uh, barrier layer. And this is particularly bad for a lot of OPV manufacturers because right now the entire PV industry is undergoing, is experiencing severe price pressures. So the margins are low and the, 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 the market as a whole is experiencing an oversupply. So moving uh, on to uh, OLEDs, um, which is uh, related but slightly, slightly different in terms of the application, what are the challenges in that sector? So OLEDs can be thought of as OLEDs for displays and OLEDs for lighting. Uh, again, yes, uh, cost points, the technology is still in its early days. It's a complex technology, so uh, printers will need to understand a system that has seven or eight uh, layers involved. And, and, and the income band technology is very well entrenched. And also LED lighting, which is also a green lighting technology, is several years ahead of OLED. Uh, but again, with the right level of subsidies and investment and help, OLED technology can move down the learning curve and become a widespread technology. Roughly how long do you think that might take? Five, ten years? It's very difficult to say, but we think the market is going to be small for the next five years. Kasha, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today and uh, hopefully see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks.